The Secrets of Hampton Court Palace. Hi, I'm Zach and I'm here visiting Hampton Court. It's a famous palace that's over 500 years old. Heard about Henry VIII? Maybe like me, you're learning about the Tudors at school. Well, this massive palace was his actual home. <coughs> this way, please. Stay together now. I'm in Chapel Court, where there's a reconstruction of a Tudor garden. It's around here where Prince Edward would have lived. He became king when he was just nine. Can you believe that? But died only a few years later when just 15. I wonder what it would have been like to be a royal child back in those days. I'm thinking pretty luxurious, but his dad, King Henry, was kind of scary. Hmm, these roses look lovely. I'll take a sneaky sniff before the tour moves on. I've sniffed myself back in time. The garden looks even more beautiful. There's so much colour at the palace. Lots of green and white. Must be the Tudor colours. Oops, someone's coming. Hmm, he looks about my age. Hello there, you must be the new messenger boy. I overheard them complaining that the last one was so slow. He walked faster in his sleep. Um, yup, that's me. Zach's the name and messaging's the game. Who are you? Pleased to meet you. I'm Barnaby Fitzpatrick, courtier and whipping boy to his grace, Prince Edward. Whipping boy? What does that mean? Sounds kind of bad. Well, the prince can't be punished himself, can he? That would basically be treason. So if he's naughty, I get the telling off. Right here on my rear. That's horrible! And sounds kind of unfair on you. Well, yes, I suppose. But I am part of the royal inner circle. I get to live in palaces with the royal family, wherever they are. The prince and I are best friends. We share our lessons and we get to play and ride together. Basically, whenever we want. Prince Edward loves animals. Did you know he has his very own fighting bears? It's actually far from a bad life. Oh, look, we better get out of this garden. The princesses are visiting the king and are taking the air. Mary and Elizabeth, Henry VIII's daughters, and sisters to Prince Edward. So, what are they like? Shh! Just wait here in the shade and you might see. Look, there's Lady Mary, the oldest. She looks pretty serious. Yes, nice enough, but not to be trifled with. She's not had it easy. When the king divorced her mother, she lost her right to the throne. Wasn't made any easier when Lady Elizabeth was born and given palaces and servants. Yeah. That'd make anyone look serious. She must have felt left out. They say it was Queen Catherine Parr who got the king to make peace with his daughters. Getting the male heir he wanted helped improve his mood as well, of course. That said, Prince Edward is treated best of all. The king gave him an entire household for his use. Before he could even walk. Dotes on him, he does. As much as he did the prince's mother, Jane Seymour. Having all those servants, I imagine the royal children know them better than their real parents. Of course, especially after their mothers died. Oh look, here comes Lady Elizabeth. Everyone says how striking she is with her fiery red hair. I thought she'd look grander than that. Like dripping in jewels. I've seen a portrait of her in a very flashy white dress with pearls and rubies. I have not heard of such a portrait. I don't think she's bothered about all that. A serious head on young shoulders, they say. I just expected more bling, like the king. Bling? Is that a French word? It's not one I've learned. Uh, never mind. She has a tremendous appetite for learning. Fortunately for her, it's the modern way to permit ladies of the court an education, especially those born to royalty. Better than just sitting around sewing. Lady Elizabeth is as clever as a man, they say. Can you imagine? Yeah, I can. My aunt works as an engineer making parts for ships. Now that's clever. My uncle can't even make a trifle. Lady Elizabeth must have been clever to be such an awesome queen. Uh, in the future, I mean. The future? Witchcraft. Be quiet in court on that score. You mean a vision, don't you? A religious vision, perhaps, after a period of prayer. Um, yeah. I definitely had a religious vision. Saint... Um... Cristiano de Ronaldo said Elizabeth would one day become queen and say, I know I have the body of a weak, feeble woman, but I have the heart and stomach of a king. Sounds like the Lady Elizabeth. I guess time will tell. Mmm, smell that. The cooks must be busy. Not a sovereign is spared when it comes to the king's children. The king may be a fearsome monarch, but he's quite the loving father to all his children. 
I better go. No one minds punishing the whipping boy for lateness. Yeah, me too. Hope Edward's been behaving. Thank goodness. Back in the present, Edward's life looks amazing. Better than his sister's. It's funny that even though they thought women couldn't rule, after Edward died, Elizabeth turned out to be the best monarch of all of them, including Henry VIII. I still feel a bit bad for Barnaby, but a whipping boy would be quite handy, wouldn't it? Someone to take the blame when you did anything wrong? Perks of being a prince, I guess. The Secrets of Hampton Court Palace, with support from historic royal palaces. Find out more at funkidslive.com forward slash palace.